Hey my beautiful Virgo gang, what's happening, what's crackalacking, and what's popping, baby? It's your boy Anfrey Cancer Moons Tarot coming at you guys with your November 2020 reading. I hope you guys are well, and if so, let me know down in those comments down below. As always, these readings are general, so if they resonate, that's awesome, and if not, it's not your message. And if you guys would like, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. All that information will be linked down in the description box down below. With that all being said, Virgo, welcome into your November 2020 readings, and let's go ahead and see what awesome messages we got coming through for you all right message is for virgo here sun moon rising in venus throughout november 2020 what do we got going on for virgo sun moon rising in venus throughout november 2020 all right my virgo gang let's go ahead and get ourselves one last shuffle and we'll take a look and see what we got going on man hopefully we got ourselves some pretty fantastic stuff let's take a look okay virgo the overall energy is you. Hello, we got here the Hermit card. You can be connecting with a fellow Virgo for some. Your current energy is going to be the Empress. The person you're dealing with is the Ace of Wands. And the outcome that's present is going to be the Two of Swords. So from the energies that we're seeing here so far, you might be connecting with a Libra. You could be dealing with a fellow Virgo. The Hermit card to the Empress card. You're kind of wanting to grow from a situation, but the thing about the hermit card is like, yeah, it could talk about somebody being in hermit mode, somebody being distant, but I feel like your overall energy at this point is actually gaining wisdom. So for some of you here, this could be you diving deeper into your spirituality throughout November 2020. For others of you, this could be you seeking uh, spiritual counsel. So you can be contacting tarot readers, contacting people that um, do Reiki healing, all things of that nature. But I feel like you're gaining wisdom on a certain type of situation. And what that wisdom is you're directly gaining is about the Empress. Learning how to grow. Learning how to love who you are unconditionally. Really sinking into the Divine Feminine. Being a part of this beautiful, beautiful path of acknowledging that self-love is important. And it's very important to take care of who you are. It's very important to nurture who you are, but also to nurture your soul. And I see you really recognizing that here. Now, taking a look at who you're dealing with, we do have here the Ace of Wands. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sag, or Leo. Someone here wants to spark some fire in you. Not too sure how you're necessarily feeling about that, because as for the outcome that's present, Virgo, we do have here the Two of Swords. So you've been on this journey and on this path with yourself of just growing as a person, growing on your own personal and individual level. You know, you've been really focusing on making your life the best life for you as much as possible. Then someone here comes along, they're trying to catch a vibe with you, okay? We got here Ace of Wands, someone here's interested, but you're like, eh, I don't really know. We're gonna have to take a deeper look on what it is that's gonna go down here in November. But I do see some potential interest here coming towards you, even though you've kind of been on your own for quite some time, all right? So real quick, Virgo, let's go ahead and get some clarification. What is this Ace of Wands representing with the person that Virgo is dealing with, please, throughout November 2020? And we got here the Fool card. Could be an Aries that's coming in, okay? Whoever this Fool is, though, someone here wants to take a risk with you. They definitely want to venture into the unknown. And that's what I like about this energy because this is somebody who wants to get to know you. They want to take time out to get to know you and see where things go. So that Fool card is definitely really, really positive stuff. I don't feel anything negative so far so what i'm going to do here virgo is i'm going to go over the person you're dealing with i'll take a look at how they feel towards you and what's going on with them throughout november 2020 then i'll take a look and see how you feel towards them what's going on with you throughout november 2020 we'll see where energies align and then we'll go ahead and see the outcome okay now in regards to who virgo is dealing with let's go ahead and take a look at that throughout november 2020 who is the person virgo is dealing with how do they feel towards virgo and what is going on with this individual, please, throughout November 2020? How does the person that Virgo is dealing with feel towards Virgo? And what is going on with this individual, please, throughout November 2020? Let's go ahead and get ourselves our first card. And the first card out is going to be the Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody here is definitely very interested in romantically pursuing you. Next card out, we got the Page of Cups. There we go. So the Knight of Cups is basically stating that this person does want some long-term kind of connection with you. But the Page of Cups is, I got to get my foot in the door. I got to see what's happening. Now, we pull the devil. Don't worry too much about the devil. It's more harmless than you necessarily think. Taking a look here, we have the devil and we have the four of swords. The devil can represent attraction and infatuation. So someone here is definitely very infatuated with you. 
but they want to get to know you more on a romantic kind of level. They don't want to just have infatuation with you. They want to actually explore who you really are as a person, get to really know you and see how compatible you are in that aspect. But also with the devil card here in the four of swords, it's showing up that they have no intention whatsoever to bring any sort of negativity into your life. When a person, whether it's a man or a woman, when a person sees the Empress, when they see somebody who's well put together like you are Virgo, when they see somebody who's confident in who they are, when they see somebody who's shining, this person knows that the Empress is not to be fucked with, okay? So the individual you're dealing with can catch your vibe and they know and acknowledge, okay, I cannot fuck around with Virgo. Virgo's the real deal. Virgo is put together. They're whole and complete within themselves. They can drop me any second. So this is not a situation or a connection that I want to screw around in. I got to be genuine, you know? We also got here Page of Wands and we got here Six of Pentacles. So yeah, they're looking to have fun right now. Getting to know you, exploring you, seeing who you are as a person, but also having really fun adventures. Like, I feel like this could really be a Sagittarius you're connecting with because the person you're dealing with might really enjoy travel. So for some of you Virgos, this person might try to take you on a trip or take you to some cool spots you've never seen before. Sagittarians really like traveling and shit, so you'll find that out if, you, if this person is a Sagittarius. But yeah, I feel this energy where it's like, they have these cool types of dates they want to plan out. They want to take you different places. This is a person that definitely is active. And when I'm saying active, I'm not talking just about like working out and stuff. They're just active. They live an active life. They like to do different types of things. They like to explore, you know? Uh, and with that Six of Pentacles there, they want to be on the same, way, the same wavelength as you, okay? Now we also have here the Knight of Swords and we have here the High Priestess. So the person you're dealing with, they know that they have charm, but they know that they just cannot win you over with simply just charm. So they're acknowledging that they need to get to know your spirit. So you have someone here who's willing to go deep with you. That's what she said, but that's not what I meant, okay? You have someone here who's willing to go deep with you. They're willing to learn who you are, but it's not just about this infatuation. It's about really genuinely connecting. Like this person's energy is super, super genuine. I'm really loving the way it actually feels. You know, this is a person who's really curious about you. They want to dive deep with you. They want to get to know you. Um, they want to explore with you and they want to see where things are going to go. You know, you're connecting with somebody who knows that you're not meant to get fucked around with point blank period based on what's going on with this person throughout November. Let's take a look here. We got here three of pentacles, we got here ten of wands, and we also have here the sun card. Basically, moving through November, Virgo, the person you're dealing with is trying to keep their hopes up as much as possible. So with the three of pentacles here, they're really trying to work with you. They're really trying to see if, you know, you'll end up being interested in them. But with the ten of wands here, you know, they're kind of like, well, if Virgo's not interested in me, it's really going to suck. But I'm going to do my best to not focus on the negatives and I'm going to do my best to impress Virgo. So someone here is really trying to impress you. They're really trying to get you to be interested in them as well. And with the sun card here, they just know that they'll be really happy with you. Like this person just feels your vibe. They feel your energy. They're like, Virgo is that type of person I will be incredibly fucking happy with. So whoever this individual is, Virgo, sure, they'll be disappointed if you end up rejecting them. But at the end of the day, you know, they're in a position where they're doing their best to keep their hopes up and they're hoping that you show interest back. Now, taking a look at Virgo here, who's been on their own for quite some time. Let's see how Virgo's feeling. How does Virgo feel? towards the person they're dealing with and what is going on with Virgo please throughout November 2020 how does Virgo feel towards the person they're dealing with and what is going on with Virgo please throughout November 2020 first card out we got here two of pentacles you know when you immediately meet this person you're like eh, I don't know I don't know if I'm necessarily going to give this individual a shot I mean I spent all this time working on myself loving myself nurturing my soul you know, I spent a lot of time being on my own and it's a pretty big adjustment from being on my own to then being together with somebody. So it's kind of like very, it's, it's kind of like a thought provoking thing to think about. You're like, you know, I spent a lot of time on my own and if I was to, you know, give this an opportunity, I don't know how that would work. You know, I'm very independent right now. So you're sitting in a very independent space, especially with that nine of pentacles coming out. Now we do have here the moon card. We do have here the world card, and we also have here the five of cups. Now, at the end of the day, 
you're thinking to yourself, well, I do have feelings. At the end of the day, I am romantically, I am a person who likes romance. I am a person who would like to have a romantic partner. Even though I've spent all this time on my own, even though I've been incredibly independent, it would be nice to start a new journey here with a world card. And it would be nice to see where things could go. You know, I've had disappointments in the past, five of cups, but here's the death card. I've transformed from any of those disappointments that I've ever had in my life. So instead of being in a position where you're allowing fear to hold you back from seeing where things can go with somebody, you're recognizing that every bad relationship you've ever had or any time anything bad has gone wrong in your life, you've always transformed from it. You've always glowed up from it. You've always overcame it. So no matter what happens, Virgo, you've always been good. And that's a massive realization that you're going to be having here throughout November 2020. It's like, fuck. I've been through a lot of shit, but I've overcome everything I've ever been through against all odds. I've always transformed. I've always been good. I've always had my back. So even if I may experience really crappy moments throughout my life, at least I know that I'm going to be able to overcome them. So you may have had relationships in your past, Virgo, that were really detrimental to you, that were not really great um, or had really great outcomes, but you have still transformed from those relationships. Actually, they taught you how to be more in tune with yourself. They taught you how to love yourself more, how to appreciate yourself more, because in every type of relationship and connection that we have within our day-to-day -day lives, within our life in general, there's always a lesson to be learned. And we learn lessons from those connections, you know? So every connection in a sense is a blessing because there's always gonna be a lesson, okay? So Virgo, you're a little conflicted about opening up your heart here, but I, actually, no, I don't think it's about you being conflicted opening up your heart. I think it's more so about you adjusting to being with somebody again after you've been so independent for so long. That's what I think it is. I think it's about getting adjusted again to having a partner, you know, considering that you've been very independent with the things that you do. Now, let's pull two more cards for your feelings towards this person. We have here Seven of Swords, and we also have here the Magician, okay? If you give this individual a chance, you will make it very, very, very clear that you are not looking for any kind of deception, that you are not looking for any kind of negativity, that you are not the one to be played with. Remember how I said in the beginning of the video, Virgo, this person's going to see your energy and they're going to know that you're not one to get fucked with? After you tell them this, <laughs> they're definitely going to know Virgo is not the person to get messed around with, okay? But I think this is deeper than just that. You know, the Seven of Swords is deception but it's not always deception from other people it couldn't be self-deception and i think that with the magician card here to the seven of swords you're doing everything in your power to remember that self-deception doesn't need to make a mark on what this connection could be you know when you and when not even just you but when most people enter a new connection or a new relationship as humans even though we're souls having a human experience we naturally tend to overthink. We naturally tend to think about self-deceiving thoughts like, well, what if this person doesn't think I'm good enough? Or what if this person doesn't want to be with me? Or what if they break up with me? You know, it's hard for people to be present in a brand new relationship without overthinking of a negative outcome in the future. So you're preventing all that. You have gone through hell and back, Virgo, to be this independent, beautiful person, really in tune with your divine feminine energy. You have done a lot of work there. And you deserve to enjoy a romantic connection. You deserve to enjoy a vibe with somebody. And you're going to let yourself have it. You're not holding yourself back here. You're not allowing these self-deceptive thoughts to really throw away the potential of a pretty damn great connection. You're realizing, I need to be present. I need to enjoy this. And despite the outcome, I'm going to have fun. So I like this kind of approach that you're having to love because you're not looking at it from the perspective of me and this person have to get married. And if we don't get married and they break up with me, I'm going to be upset. No, you're looking at it like someone here is new. They're really cool. I vibe with them well. They really vibe with me. Let's give it a shot. Let's be present to the moment. Let's see where things go. I'm not going to overthink about the future. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to let myself have this romance and I'm going to have a good time. And if it works out, that's freaking awesome. And if it doesn't work out, it is what it is. So this is you not allowing yourself to get trapped into those self-deceiving thoughts. This is you recognizing, I'm here to have a good time. I'm here to catch a vibe. I'm just here to take things slow and see where they go. I really like that. You're having a very healthy approach to this new connection that's coming in for you. And it's something that's going to be very beneficial for you at the end of the day. You know, if you approach love in this type of way, 
you save yourself the heartache. You save yourself manifesting situations that weren't even in reality yet. Like people tend to overthink, like they'll meet somebody and they'll be like, damn, they're going to cheat on me. And that hadn't even happened yet. Right. But then you you basically manifested the possibility of that shit happening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's good to be present, man, when it comes towards love and relationships. Now, Virgo, let's take a look and see what's going on with you throughout November here. We got here Queen of Wands, feeling in your power. We got here Seven of Wands, not taking any BS. And we have here King of... Oh, baby. We got here King of Pentacles. And we also have here the Hangman. So you're going to be feeling in your power. This person's going to know how to make you feel sexy. Goddamn Virgo. Shit. What I like about this individual, it's not even just about them complimenting your looks. Yeah, somebody can compliment your looks and make you feel sexy, but your energy, just your vibe, this person's going to make you feel really confident about yourself. You already feel confident. Don't worry about it, but they're really going to boost you here. You'll like that. Okay. Uh, we also have here seven of wands. Seven of Wands is the energy that people can, you know, say like block or this, that, and the third. But I kind of feel like the Seven of Wands is you standing your ground because the hangman will come in. So during November, you will feel this energy of, I don't know if this is the right choice. I don't know if this is going to work. You're going to get those self-deceiving thoughts. And remember how I said originally, you're doing this relationship differently. You're doing this connection differently. You're going to block it out. So you will block that out. So just be mindful. It's a natural thing, guys. It happens to all of us. We just have to be aware of it. You will have those self-decepting thoughts of, is this worth it? Is this really what's right for me? You will have those second guesses in the back of your mind. But I see you blocking them out, not paying attention, and allowing yourself to be grounded into the present moment. Okay? So I, I see you guys making sure that you're on top of what is going on. You're being very aware of your thoughts and what you're thinking about. And you're allowing yourself to be present to this connection and to simply enjoy it. Because Virgo, you do enjoy it. And dude, even if it doesn't work out, who the fuck cares? Enjoy that vibe, man. Have a fun time. Enjoy some romance. Enjoy some lust. Enjoy some love, baby. That's the best part about connecting with somebody. It's getting to explore them, dude. Have a lot of fun, man. In regards to where energies are aligning, please, between Virgo and this person. We got here Nine of Wands. We got here Queen of Swords. We got here Knight of Pentacles. And we also have here three of swords yes when i say you're gonna go deep with this person yeah you're gonna go deep what i'm essentially seeing here is that there are gonna be a lot of wounds being healed between the two of you so even if you guys aren't a match made in heaven and even if you guys aren't the end all be all i'm seeing the both of you healing each other without even being aware of that we got here nine of wands and we got here queen of swords virgo you're gonna end up opening up to this person about a lot of shit you've experienced Remember how I said you've been through hell and back, Virgo, but you've always came out winning? Well, yeah, you have because you've overcome a lot of things in your life. And I feel like a lot of the residual shit that you have within you is definitely going to be discussed with the person you're connecting with. So it feels to me like you guys are going to get connected really deep to the point where the both of you talk about everything. And just by releasing a lot of those things that you've kept inside is going to be really, really healing to you. So it's going to be great to accept this healing from this person. Now, we also have here Knight of Pentacles and we also have here the Ten of Swords. I didn't even see the Ten of Swords come out. The Ten of Swords is like both of you discussing what had went on with your past here, the people that have walked away from you, the connections that have ended. And I think the two of you are going to realize that you may have some similar patterns for some of you Virgos, this person may be very similar to you or may have a very similar story to the things that you have went through. Just a little side note there for some of you. But you're going to be discussing the things that have hurt you in life, the endings that have happened, the new beginnings that were manifested, the stability that the both of you have had throughout your lifestyle, the heartache that the both of you guys have had. But in general, this is two people really opening up to one another. For some of you Virgos, this might not even be a romantic connection coming in. This could possibly be a great friendship that's coming in for you. Or maybe you just made a new friend at your job. You know, that kind of energy can be happening here too. Looking at the bottom of the deck, we do have here the star card though. You were meant to come into alignment with this person. It feels good when you can be vulnerable. It feels good when you can be honest with somebody. And you have a person here that you can be incredibly honest and vulnerable with. And it's such a healing connection because there's so much truth, because there's so much rawness in the both of you in the way that you communicate that there's going to be a lot of healing here taking place. So the universe really paired the two of you together 
not only just on the premise of catching a vibe with one another, but on the premise of healing a lot of shit, man. Possibly healing a lot of karma too. Ask for the overall outcome, please, between Virgo and this person. What do we got coming through? We have here the Strength card, and we also have here the Ace of Cups. I like that, man. I like it a lot. With the Strength card here, it talks about being in a place where you're strong, but also this could be a Leo you're connecting with. But the Strength card during this time, I really feel paired with the Ace of Cups, is about solidifying a very strong type of love for one another and solidifying a relationship. So at the end of the day here, Virgo, even if this person here isn't going to be your romantic partner, you are going to fall in love with who this Sorry about that, Virgo, but either way, you are definitely going to fall in love with who this person is, whether it's just friendly or romantic. You know, like I said, this could be a friend for some of you that's manifesting into your life, but probably for the majority of you, it's going to be a person that you're catching a romantic vibe with. But nonetheless, it's just really great how you can be so open and so vulnerable with this person and vice versa. They can be so open and vulnerable with you. It's just such a genuine connection and that's what makes it so healing is that you are going to be your authentic self with someone. You know, for the longest time, you were incredibly independent, you were taking care of yourself, but sometimes it takes another person to communicate to you and talk about certain types of things that maybe you didn't necessarily see within yourself. You know, sometimes it takes someone else to be a mirror to show you some of the things you've never seen. And that's what I feel is coming up in this connection. You know, whoever you're dealing with here, they're definitely gonna mirror some things to you that you have to heal that maybe you haven't seen within yourself and vice versa, you may be doing the same. So this is one of those connections where the two of you are gonna kind of elevate one another. It's very high vibrational, it's very positive. Um, and at the end of the day, whether you gain a new friend or you gain a lover, it's just such a beautiful healing connection, the way the two of you are coming together and the fun that the both of you are having here. So Virgo, I really, really like this reading. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, if it resonates, let me know down in those comments down below. Have an awesome and amazing rest of your November, guys. And like I said, for some of you guys, of course, this reading can resonate, but if it doesn't resonate, don't be discouraged. There is more readings in the future out there for you guys, so be patient. We'll have more reads. Um, and if this doesn't resonate, you guys always have the option to check out any other awesome tarot readers on this platform, so feel free to do that as well. But for the Virgos, this does resonate to congratulations i hope you guys really enjoy this connection and for those of you that it doesn't hey it'll be your time at some time okay all right baby much love to my virgo gang have yourselves a good one and i will catch you guys all later much love man and i'll see you guys later peace